Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me Nikki here to share a fun spring recipe with you, scotched eggs, so let's get started. Okay friends, let's jump right in and this is such a fun spring recipe. Now if you've been with me since the beginning, you might remember I shared a scotched egg recipe about eight years ago on my channel. So I thought it'd be the perfect time this spring to come back with that recipe again, but with a little tweak and so that if anyone else have not seen this recipe, it would be a great one for you to try with your family uh, for brunch or for breakfast for dinner. They make great meals for breakfast for dinner and it's just really such a fun and tasty recipe. So you're going to start with your boiled eggs and all-purpose flour. Now I purchased the eggs already boiled and a lot of times when you go to your grocery store now you can get them boiled but you're also going to need just eggs. You're going to crack a few eggs. Now with me having three boiled eggs and I'm making three scotched eggs from this I don't need four eggs. I kind of overdid it here so disregard that but you can get away with probably one or two eggs if you're having three boiled eggs. If you're doubling your recipe you just kind of double the eggs and so we'll want to whisk the eggs but we'll do that in a minute. I want to first get the ingredients out, show you kind of what it consists of, and let you know again, if you look at the ingredients, this is definitely something that you can put in the fridge, prep the night before so that you have that busy day at work, you can come home, and this is one of those fun recipes that's easy to make, or prep it the night before on a Saturday and get up and make it for Sunday's brunch or Sunday's breakfast. It's really great to pair with that croissant or fruit, and it's just a lot of fun. So you're also going to need your meat, and I like to use typically Jimmy Dean sausage because I have a breakfast brunch twist on it. But today I'm trying it with ground beef and I've never done that before, but I've seen it done before. So it's the same concept with the Jimmy Dean. So it shouldn't be fine. You know, that's, you know, it's, it's a different flavor, but the same consistency. So you'll be fine with that. You also want your side bowl because as you prepare your scotched egg, you want to have a place to sit them until you actually cook them. Now I know with this recipe, people do different versions. They do where they bake them them or they fry them. I tend to always put mines in oil and fry mines, um, but definitely there are recipes where you can bake them, which may be um, pr a preferred choice for some. And then I don't know about the air fryer with everyone using air fryers now. I don't know if this is something you can do in an air fryer. I have never researched that, but that's something also to look at or think about also because that's really big now. So what I'm doing is I'm coating my eggs in the flour, first of all, and then I'm seasoning my meat. And you can use your discretion on how you season your meat. A lot of times with the Jimmy Dean, when I'm using that, I'll just use just a little bit of uh, pepper and a little bit of sage. And other than that, I don't do anything with it. But with the ground beef, um, I'm going to put a little more of the salt and the pepper and the garlic um, salt and things like that in it to give it more flavor to the meat before I utilize it. But that's the beautiful thing about this is that you can tweak the flavors to your liking. And if you want it even spicy, you can spice it up. And so that's why I like this recipe. Not only that it's just the concept of it is fun, but that you have a lot of control over the flavor. And so that is really neat. So then you want to get in there and you want to get everything, all the seasoning mixed up well. Now, typically I do like to use gloves for this, but um, I don't have any right now. So I'm going to just kind of use my hands, get in and get everything mixed well together. And once you have that all done, it's time to create portions for each egg and then we will assemble each scotch egg before cooking. So how I do that is I just want to get pieces of the meat off and I'm going to then make my ball so that I can then press it out just like a hamburger patty to then sit the egg in and wrap the egg around the ground beef. And so you want to make it so that you do not see that boiled egg. But here's the key. You don't want to put so much ground beef around it that it's too bulky because then it's going to, um, take it's not going to cook all the meat on the inside when you go to cook it so you would you don't want a real thin layer but you don't want a real thick layer I would say about a fourth of an inch thick around the egg is what you would need to get a nice cook within a 10 minute time so now let's get all of these eggs within their meat and then we'll move to the next step Okay, 
friends. So next you wanna give those eggs a good little whisk so that you kind of blend all of that together. I wouldn't recommend putting seasoning at the end the eggs if you did a good job seasoning your meat. I think you'll be fine, but it's all up to you. Again, you have control over this recipe, which is great. And then what you're going to do is, what you're gonna do is then just use this as your coating. So you'll coat the balls with this before you actually dip them into the panko. And so this is the part where you're going to put the crust on and that panko is what's going to go into that oil and really make that delicious scotch egg. Now with my panko, I have the herb flavored panko and you don't have to use this type. You can use just plain panko and then season it yourself or you don't even have to season it. If you wanna just kind of rely on how you season the ground beef, that's totally fine. But what you wanna do is you wanna take each one of those balls and you wanna make sure to coat it really well with the panko mixture and you just don't wanna see any ground beef. You want it to just be all around and you wanna keep the form of your ball because sometimes when you're rolling around in the panko, it can kind of lose its form a little bit and it's okay to press it back together, but it's key not to see that egg and to make sure that you get everything coated before we move to the next step of actually putting it into the oil and cooking it. Okay friends, our scotch eggs are now prepped and they're ready to go into the oil. And so you wanna get your oil nice and hot on the stove and use a slotted spoon if you're going to be dipping them into the oil for like a pot or things like that. So instead of, I don't like to use my hands to drop in just for safety reasons. So I'll get a slotted spoon and I will just kind of sit them down into the oil. And I tend to like to use a pot to cook mines in, but you can definitely use a frying pan. Again, there are recipes out there, versions that are baked. Along with, I see that they have those that are keto friendly and vegetarian friendly. And so this recipe is very versatile. Also, if you don't want hard boiled eggs, you can do soft boiled. The key is just to make sure that they're cooled before you start this process either way. So friends, here are the end result of the scotched eggs. You definitely want to cook them for about 10 minutes in your oil to make sure that the meat fully cooks. And friends, this is just such a delicious, delicious meal, even to take on those picnics, if you wanna have a picnic in the backyard. It is just the perfect spring recipe. And so I will break one of these open so that you can get a look at how it looks when you serve it. And that's how I would serve it. I would kind of split it down the middle and then serve them with a croissant and some fruit, whatever you want. They'd even be great in the South here with grits. We love our grits. They could be yummy with grits. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed the recipe. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a part of the At Home with Nikki family. Definitely click that subscribe button along with the bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a video and definitely if you missed yesterday's video go ahead and check that out I will link it below it's where I shared with you how to organize your Bible so I hope you will enjoy that and I will be sure to put the link to that video in the description box have a beautiful day my friends I will see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye